Uh, she's finally got bail. Uh, I think ab- after about close to 70 days because she was arrested on the 24th of September. And today is around the 3rd or the 4th of December. So it would be roughly 60 to 70 days. It's been a difficult time for her in prison. Uh, if you remember, and as you were just pointing out, I heard you saying this, uh, that while Chinmayanand was arrested for rape, though of course there's a debate on whether the correct charge under the IPC section was applied against him or not, but he continues to remain in jail. But just a few days after Chinmayanand was actually booked and arrested, this law student who had actually accused him of rape, uh, she was also arrested along with a few of her so-called friends. Uh, the UP police's SIT that has been probing both cases claims that uh, this girl or this law student was involved in an extortion racket against Chinmayanand. Uh, they have also claimed uh, in a press conference that a BJP leader from uh, the area uh, was also involved along with the girl and her friends in this extortion against Chinmayanand. That is why she was arrested and that is why she spent the last two, day, uh, the last two months and more inside a prison. Just to go back on the point against Chinmay Anand, if you remember, all of this had started in August uh, when this uh, woman had actually put up a Facebook post where she alleged that some influential people had taken advantage of her. Later, her father tried to get a rape case, uh, a rape case filed against Chinmay Anand, but the local Shah Jahanpur police did not do it till the Supreme Court intervened in the case. This girl had gone missing. The UP police recovered her. She was presented before the Supreme Court of India. The Supreme Court ordered the constitution of a SIT that finally then booked Chinmay Anand, though in a watered-down subsection of the IPC law that deals with rape, but also went ahead and booked this girl or woman saying that she was also responsible, like I said, uh, for extortion and uh, that Chinmayanand had actually, or his aides had actually filed that extortion case also around the same time that the girl had gone missing. So it's been a complex and complicated case, but uh, I think one thing that we've all noticed is how Chinmayanand seemed to have evaded the law for a longer period of time. Uh, If you remember, even after his arrest and his jail, he went to a Lucknow hospital where he stayed for close to a week. The doctors here were not able to tell us what exactly the problem with with him was, but he carried on getting a whole host of checkups till finally he was sent back to jail. So again, all of this being involved, the BJP in the meantime at one point of time also claimed that Chinmayanand was not somebody who was associated with the BJP anymore. When we asked them for any written proof about something like this, they said that no, no written proof, but we are telling you that he's no longer a member of the BJP. Whether that cuts ice or not, of course, is a different matter. For this law student, yes, it's meant missing her exams. It, it's meant spending the last two months and more in jail. Now she's out on bail. We don't have details of the order of the Lahabad High Court yet, but we are told that this was a single judge bench that gave the judgment. And one thing that perhaps was said or was observed was the fact that now that a charge sheet has been filed in both cases by the SIT, in Chinmayanand's case and also in this extortion case, there's perhaps no more need for keeping this woman in jail.